Uh, hello, MET240 students. I'm about to show you how I would model the part spacer plate. So first check if you're at the right project, which I am. You see I'm at homework too. And then open a new part, inches, and select create. So the part that I will show you is this third one from your homework. So I will copy paste the, the name and I, I will show you the drawing. This is the drawing. So how I will do this, I will start with a block. I will extrude a rectangular shape 8 by 6.5 and then by 1, 0.125. Then I will remove this rectangular shape. Then I will remove this uh, square. And then I will remove uh, uh, and I will create one hole and then I will create another hole. So um, I will go File, Save As. And I will save this part, first and last name, like this. And I will open this origin here to see the planes. And I will start creating a sketch in X and Y plane. And I will start by creating rectangular shape from the 0, 0, like this. And then I'll create dimension. This would be 8. And the other one will be 6.5. Enter. And if I don't see it, I can double click the middle mouse key to see what I have. And here it seems like grid. You see, it's very dense. So I'll finish this sketch. And again, middle mouse key to see what's going on. And then I'll extrude this by 0 0.125 this is what I have so uh, let me again see if uh, this is 6.5 this is 8 okay finish sketch and um, now I will add this you see this uh, corner here so I have 6.5 and I have 5.5 from below so uh, I'll go create a new sketch here. And I'll create a line somewhere from here, somewhere, and then somewhere from here. It doesn't matter where exactly, because once I add dimension, that will be the correct size. So I'll select this line and this point. And this would be 6.5. See, and then um, I'll select this line and this point, and this would be 5.5 and that's all I need finish and I'll say I would like to extrude and you see it's asking me for profile I'll select this part and I will choose here cut and I'll choose through all and then hit check enter and now I would like to remove this rectangular shapes so you see 2 by 2 2.5 uh, 2 2.5 so I create another two-dimensional sketch in this plane. And all I need is one rectangle shape from this corner, like this. And then I will dimension this to be 2.5. And the other one will be 2.5. I will finish the sketch and I will extrude this profile from here. And then I will change this to the cut. And I'll change this through all, and that's all I need. And then I'll create two holes. So let's see how they are. There's one of these holes is 1.5, and I have 5 and 1.5 for two references. So let's do that first. So I'm going to Inventor. I'm trying to create a hole. Uh, and here, you see face. I'll click on the face, this face. And it's asking me for diameter, so I put 1.5. Make sure you don't hit enter because it will go out of this whole command. And for the first reference, I'll select this this one, and this would be 5. And, oh, I, I, I hit enter, so I did the same thing. Right, I can go to the tree, right-click, and I can say edit feature. And I want to make sure I add here reference to, so I'll select this select sign. Click on the line and make sure I enter here 1.5. Okay, so that's one of the holes. And let me create another one. 
let me see dimensions you see like 2.5 and I have here 3 and 2.5 so again I'll click somewhere and I can say diameter is 2.5 and my first reference is from here and it is um, 2.5 and then I'll use the second reference 2.5 enter and it takes me out so I'll go back right click edit feature second reference from here and it is 3 enter and that's it that's all you have to do for this part and make sure you save that